Hello, welcome to Hubrek Bull Sessions, episode number 30. Um, my name is Ulf, and today we're going to talk about enhancing drum sounds. So the most obvious way to enhance drum sounds are, of course, using drum replacement, uh, sample replacement, which I usually think is boring, but can also be very useful if it's needed. But there is another really simple way of enhancing drum sounds in a DAW, and that's by using a simple signal generator and a sidechain gate. And we're going to have a look at that now. I'm going to show you a little bit how to make some drum enhancements with the built-in tone generator uh, that comes with Cubase 9. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there are something similar to that in most other DAWs. The only thing you need is a signal generator and uh, a gate that you can sidechain. I have here the drum tracks that I made a few weeks ago uh, for the Tom microphone shootout. Sounds pretty decent, um, but we can pretend that we have lost the, um, the mic underneath the snare, so we don't have any bus from the wires. Uh, it's not that big of a difference, but it's a little bit of a difference. So what we can do then is... Um, you can fake uh, this buzzing sound. It's not going to sound as good or as organic, but we'll try to figure something out here. So make a new mono track like that. And on that track, we want to have the, uh, yeah, on the tools, we have the test, the test generator. <laughs> um, put it to white noise. Um, and we want to put a, let's see, gate. And you should activate the side chain of this gate. Um, there we go. And then we go to our snare track. Uh, some. And here in here, we go for the sends and send it to the gate. I go with the post fader and just full. Not sure why, I just do it now. <laughs> uh, I'll listen to it. So we're gonna have to fine tune that a little bit. Yeah, that sounds pretty awful. Um, so what we do then is um, put some EQ on it. And take off the worst top end of the white noise. Yeah, and uh, it also has too long of a decay, so we can change the release time of the gate and take it down. it's not perfect but it's uh, it could work in a mix and um, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and if you want to make it a little bit more um, realistic we can add the um, an envelope shaper to give a uh, this buzzing sound a little bit, little bit of attack, as it would have if it was a real snare uh, with the real wires under it. That's pretty decent. that snare white 
noise. And uh, let's pretend we have a mix that is really where it's really hard to make the snare cut through with the with the current tuning we have, and we don't want to entirely replace the snare with another sample. Uh, we can make another one of those tone generated tracks. Mono track, make snare tone. Make a signal generator again. Uh, tools. And we can take it down to, let's say, 35. Nope. 350. Gates on that and side chain, of course. Go back to the snare track and uh, we'll send that to the snare tone as well. Now we're starting to change the whole character of this snare drum. Let's go back to hear what it sounded like before we started doing these crazy changes. Uh, turn off those new fake tracks and we'll listen to the original. Turn off the, the snare down track and turn on the fake tracks and listen again. And this tone generator thing is also really useful if you want to add some really stable low end to kick or um, toms. So we can do with a kick here, uh, add a new mono track, uh, we'll call that kick tone. And tools, sorry. Say what is a good subtone for a kick like 40 or 50 hertz? Um, let's say 45. Yeah, <laughs> um, we'll put a gate on that and activate the sidechain. Go to the kick track and We'll send that to kick tone. Yeah, just old habit, do it like this. take some of the low end of the original kick drum out to make this um, example a bit more clear. Yeah, and we we'll probably want to make this decay a little bit shorter. So that's a pretty easy trick if you want to have um, 
if you don't want the low end of your kick to be too dynamic, uh, you can do this instead and you know exactly what tone you have it on and it's going to be exactly the same volume on every hit, which could sound uh, maybe a bit unnatural, but sometimes you need to do stuff in different ways to achieve the result you want. So let's listen to this again. Yeah, of course, the, the result of this is not near perfect, but that's not the point here either. I just wanted to show you what you can do and uh, you have to fine tune this to suit the sound you're after. Um, but I hoped that I kind of showed that there are some, these are some useful tools that you can use to get closer to whatever you want to get to. So thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, leave comments, hit the like button and uh, share this with all your friends that might be interested and see you again in two weeks. Bye bye. Cheers.